What's up, people? So, I was out here working on my plantar fasciitis, massaging my foot. Uncle Wex so they got a device for that. This axe handle works perfectly, but I was doing it wrong. I, I always massage in here, in the arches where it hurts. That's why I massage. Um, but you told me I was doing that all wrong. Oh uh, yeah, so basically, with the arch, I was queuing up the picture here. So if you look at a foot, that's the outside of your foot, and that's the inside of your foot. And so if you look at the outside of your foot, there is a ton of meat right here. Yeah. So if you think of your foot, normally your foot doesn't come up like, like that's all meat right there. That's yeah. what you have to work because that's the outside of your foot. That's and cool. if you look at the inside here, do you see how this is your heel bone? That's your fourth toe, your fifth toe, and they come right into the heel bone here. These bones, number one, two, and three, come up and see how they don't connect. Yeah. They connect to this bone on top of the heel bone. Oh, and look, yeah. there's no support underneath them. Yeah. But look at all that meat right there that's yeah. going to underride that whole thing. And if yeah. you get that one, if you get the one side right, and it's so easy, here's the formula. Yeah. You take cylinders are better than balls. You go rolling pin or something. This flat, the flat part of the axe is easier. You find that meaty part, right? And you see my feet, you see the way I'm like spreading my toes out and extending them really hard? I want to do that. And then I want to put weight on that, and I don't want to let I don't want to let the toe fall down because what's going to happen is when you're weak, and you're not trained on it. See yeah. my foot? See how I can put when, all my foot on? When I do it, my toe. Now put put, put it in the back of the meat part. I'll get out of the light. Yeah. Right there. Now get, get that up. Yeah. Now press. Now put less pressure in it. Yeah, see it takes Come it down. Up. Less pressure. Get less pressure there. You're just gonna work the boundary. Work here, here, here until that can stay up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because so here's the deal. When, when you're gonna land on it, you need to land the out the outside, right? Yeah. See how I don't have any. There's no. Let me see in the light. Right here. When I come here, if I, if that's not strong the outside, then it's definitely the if the outside can't do the work and the foot starts to shift but the ankle becomes yours, and then it's just those four bones, and by the time you're off, you're already off it. So you're never, you're never on these bones right here. Those, Dude. those bones underneath your big toe, or behind your big toe, those are two bones, or kneecaps, and if you stand on that, yeah. well then guess what? Does you that link, in, you say that connects to your kneecaps, or they're like No, no, kneecaps. well, it all connects to everything, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> those are, those are little like levers, like kneecaps. Oh, they're not meant to be trodden on, they're, right? Well, they're meant to be holding up to a tree if you're talking about meant to be. Okay. <laughs> this foot spent a lot more time like holding onto this wide shape this way, right? Okay. It's not even a foot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a it's a hind limb. Yeah. <laughs> but those two little bones, you can't put pressure on them. So you see how those four go forward of that? Mm. So if you drew a line across, you see oh, how it's yeah, past yeah. that? Now watch my foot. Yeah. So if you look at my foot here, you see how see how one, two, three, four, and this one's back here? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to, this here, if I do, if I'm here with my foot and we say that that's straight, okay? Yeah. This is not straight. That is not straight. Yeah. If my foot is here, straight is this. That is straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Because that keeps me on the outside. So it's boom, I'm outside. If I'm just going straight, yeah. that is perfectly straight. It rolls off boom. straight, sorry. It's all right. What did you say to me about when I'm massaging the inside bit? Yeah. Okay, so we're about You to... said that's like... Oh, no. You made a joke. Well, you know, if the contractor comes in, says, oh, yeah, we're gonna shore this place up. What's the problem? A little fresh. Yeah, I just, yeah no problem. Let's say, okay, where's the staircase to the second story? Yeah. Right? And it's like, wait a minute, what are we gonna do about the first story? Start on, start on the first story, yeah. yeah. Start on the first story, and then with this here, Yeah. Actually, so now with this here, what you want to do is you want to take and you want to come, not doing, not grabbing. You want to tack, and it's like a Spider-Man suit. You oh, want to okay. take this <laughs> that way, yeah. right? Because you don't want to put socks on and leave slack in them. Okay. You want the superficial stuff to come here. Okay. And then on wet steps, when you're standing on the wet step, yeah. it is that dynamic... The big toe can't collapse. It's sending it, cocking the spring. This is the high point, sending it out to the outside to here. Mm. And so everything is there, and you're learning with that 
to balance on those four bones without collapsing, okay? Yeah. And then when you can do my the release work on there is this. You set up and you do it yourself by the FFT. So yeah. you set up, right? You block the ankle out as far as you can. And then you do, you could have, like I was doing a little earlier on yeah. your ankle. The meridian inside, line, yeah. That, that hit kidney meridian up. Bladder and gallbladder down on the outside, up on the inside. Yeah. This is the energetics of the body. Yeah. And if you think your axial skeleton is the, so the skull, the spine, the rib cage, and then the, the sacrum wedged in, it's like this column that's wedged into a triangle. <laughs> so the trick is like, how do you not collapse that? Yeah. Especially when the inside three bones, the toes, are all like perilously, perilously perched without any support because they used to be in a tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the way that you do it mm. is it's the weight distribution. The weight distribution as in W-A-I-T distribution and the mm. W-E-I-G-H-T. So it's the weight, obviously, but it's the weight for it because what matters is when the event happens, they hit the ground, mm. that's when it all has to be there together and ready to do it, right? Yeah. And you learn how to do that and that's when it all comes together and now it's just habituated. Mm. So what you have to do is you have to understand, okay, whatever I'm doing right now is the result of however I got here and it is you know, doing the job to some degree. Now, if I can habituate an entirely new behavior based upon the fundamental principles of up, down, all around, and the, the spiraling articulation of figure eights through every joint in the body linked with perfect timing, how the heck are you gonna do that? Yeah. Go back to, you, you wanna be wireless? Don't cut the cord quite yet, right? Learn how to boom, play the chord, boom, play the chord, boom, play the chord. And even that right there, it's an outward, it's out and up. So it's, it's down the back, down the outside, boom, and here your center of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the answer.